Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. And just recently there was a new iMovie update out, which is iMovie 10.1.2. And in this video I'm going to show you guys the basics of how to update your iMovie and show you guys the changes that were made within iMovie. So let's go ahead and go straight into your app store. Mine's right here in my uh, dashboard, but you can also find your through to spotlight search and type in uh, app store and go ahead and launch the App Store. We're gonna to navigate to the Updates tab to the far right hand corner here and uh, let it check for updates if your update's not yet available, but you'll notice it's right here, iMovie version 10.1.2. And since I've already updated, it appears right here, Updates installed. And uh, it includes uh, easy to find a new project button in the Projects browser, larger project thumbnails that match the look for of iMovie for iOS, fast projects, Creation lets you begin editing with a single click. Clicking a video clip selects the entire clip instead of a range. Keyboard shortcut to select range with a clip in a browser and timeline. Hold down R key while dragging. This is important actually, and I'm going to demonstrate this, the R key command. Um, support for app preview resolutions of for iPad and Apple TV. Improves stability and uh, any other bug fixes as well. So go ahead and hit the update button on the far right hand corner. You, you will have one if you haven't already updated and it might have you sign into your iTunes account as well. Um, and uh, from here, once it's updated, you can go ahead and quit App Store and I'll go ahead and open up my iMovie, which is also on my dashboard. Just to show you guys that I am running on the latest version, I'm going to iMovie about iMovie, version 10.1.2. Now I have a tutorial project here. I'm gonna go ahead and double click it to open it up. But that was the project's screen uh, under media and uh, it's just like this. Uh, now uh, if you click now on a clip, it will select the entire clip automatically just like this. Not, and if you click to drag like this, it no, will no longer allow you to select the portion or same here. You can't click to drag. It will just click select it all. So now in order to select just a portion of the clip, all you have to do is hold the R key on your keyboard and drag. And that this will now allow you to select a portion and you can drag that in. Same within your timeline as well. If you hold the R key, now you have the range selection tool basically. And you can uh, you can actually see the cursor. If you look at my cursor here, just like this, as you can see right here. And then now you can select a simple clip just like that. Other than that, no actual uh, major changes to iMovie. Everything else layout wise is going to be the same. And uh, yep, yeah, that's basically it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my life